Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So here is a quick little belated video that I need to do for you. So if you aren't already subscribed, please do. Please do leave a like comment down below as well and let's get on into it. So I'm gonna be doing today a full base of my go-to look. Full base of my go-to look that I do for when I wanna go out, I wanna feel glam. Like these are my favorite products. So with these products, ignore my dog barking i have too um <laughs> roxy's currently having time out and arlo is currently just being mouthy as usual but with all these products a lot of them will be on my tiktok shop um so if you do want to buy them they are available from there i do earn a little bit of commission so if you can buy them or if you want to try them out can please do buy them through my tiktok shop it will be linked down below if it's not linked tell me i'll add it because i've most likely forgotten um so let's get into today's quick little video we're gonna start from like beginning to end like full we're going fully into this okay so first thing i want to do is literally you want to moisturize your skin so with moisturizing your skin i have an all-time favorite moisturizer at the moment and this has to be the primark one and this was three pounds i actually got this because my friend taylor she was like it's really good you need to try it I haven't put it down since. So this is the PS Future Bright Featherweight Gel Moisturiser. It's the Hyaluronic Acid Watermelon and Pineapple Extracts to hydrate your skin. You get 45 mils, which is a lot of product. So let's moisturise the skin. I have just realised usually I do my brows before I um, moisturise my skin, but I'll just try and avoid the brow area. This product is just so extremely hydrating and my skin absorbs it. I don't get any reaction from it because my skin can be quite sensitive recently. Um, since I went on holiday, there was a situation with a pole and my skin's got a little bit more sensitive than it usually is. Next, I'm going to take my straps down because I do this now so my foundation actually matches me. So there's a product that Taylor actually brought for me from Tika Max. I hide it up and she ended up buying it on a sneaky one. So Taylor, gonna kill you. So this is the Fenty Beauty body sauce and I've got the one in Pearl Swell, which is the lighter shade. You get 95 mils of product for this. It does retail 40 quid, but to be honest, I think it's bloody worth it. Um, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, she got it from Tika Max for 20 quid. So if you do find it in Tika Max, grab it. She even got herself one, so yeah. There is a little hair on my face and it's doing my head in. So for my body, I am actually tan right now from holiday. So I've got a little bit of a tan left, but I need to be a, like a little bit just more even because as you can tell, I'm a little bit of a patchy tan because that's just how you tan on holiday. So I'm going to put quite a few pumps of this all over my chest. So I actually put quite a few because it does spread pretty far, but also with typical body sources, um, you just need a little bit more product. It's not as uh, malleable as like a fake tan, like a temporary fake tan. So it's just a body source. So now I need to pick up a brush. I'm going to use this brush, which I usually use for it. This is just a pink brush and I'm literally just going to blend this in to my skin it just evens me out a bit and gives me a glow and yeah i never used to do this but now i have a tan i feel so much better about myself i don't know tan can just really give you a little bit of a confidence boost really but like look how good this tan looks and this color actually matches me really well to the point that i'm literally obsessed so I take it all the way over my shoulders right up to the collarbones because I never really tan on my collarbones. I always tan the back of my neck here, but I never tan on my actual collarbone. So I'm trying not to show you my boobs. Also get this further down enough that it actually covers everything in sight. In an excess, I bring up the neck because I have like this tan line that goes across my neck and that is not the one. I think I definitely put a little bit too much this time. The last time I put a little bit too little so I also need to wait for this to dry on my boobs before I put the top back up because then it will get stained and I don't want to do that. Really getting that in there so when I put my foundation on I am just one colour um, and this just matches me really well. I'm obsessed with it and it just looks so glowy and so even on the skin. And you don't really need a body makeup brush. I literally just use a thick powder brush. To be honest, who the hell is using these powder brushes for Ashley powder, because it's way too big for my face. So maybe it was meant, maybe it was meant to be. Maybe it was my balloon. And then I just bring it down so then it's even. Then I'm literally just gonna sit here for uh, five minutes doodling on my phone whilst this sets down. Because I can go on to the next steps, but I kind of just don't want to look like I'm naked on this video. Usually I go into my next steps, cool. But this product is just phenomenal. Like, look at that. It's so good. So I'm gonna sit here, let this sit, and we'll get into the rest of the makeup. To be honest, I'm probably gonna stick my brows to my forehead. I've just paper seven the eye. Um, Cause you guys have seen me do that a million and one times and you probably don't wanna see that. So let me do that actually. So I'll be back. 
Okay, I am back. Look at that bod and it's all set down now. Like, there is no tan on it and it's so good and honestly it like is a confident boost for me because one thing like my face will match like my shoulders but then my chest is one color my neck is a whole different color like i'm like 50 shades of tan and it's not the one so evening it all out just makes me feel some sort of way but let's get into the actual makeup so obviously i have done my brows so something that i I was editing a video the other day and my brows are spiked to the metherines and they were so spiky and I was just like, there are no shape to them. They look horrific. Oh, what the hell? Why did you guys let me do that? But literally I just run over the spoolie around the edges and just collect all the hairs into a nice little shape. And this is what we have. So now we're gonna glam the face because God, do I need to feel good about myself. So of course, makeup is the answer. So the two products that I actually use when it comes to these type of brows is first of all, the Pink Honey Cocoa Powder. This is on TikTok shop and the She Glam Brow Pencil. You guys have seen me being obsessed with this for way too long, but I use the pen side just to add a few little extra hairs. Cause of course, once again, I shave off the ends of my brows because you know that's the best way we can do it so this is how i'm going to fill them in one tip and trick I actually show tiktok so if you don't already follow me on tiktok it's becca.scully you need to a lot of fun fun content over there so you want like a small kind of fluffy brush i find that when you use a brow front brow brush it snaps on way too much product your brow starts to look really matte there's no like actual hair like texture to it it's just like one block color so i pick up my powder on all of it tap off the excess and i literally just brush over the edges just to fill in a little bit and this is in the shade 01 taupe and that is literally all i do it just gives a slight little fill in do you see that places where i want to fill it in but i also don't want to block it out with a brow pen because then it's definitely not going to look more realistic and this also mattifies the soap brow because the soap brow is very shiny this gives it more of a hair like feel that is literally all i have to do with this and this is only 5.99 and the pigmentation that comes out of this amazing pink honey you did well but next um, I do actually want to try out the Beauty Bay one. This one obviously has shimmer in it. So it's the tiniest little bit of a sheen to it. So when you go like this, it's beautiful. But I do want to try out the Beauty, one, Beauty Bay one because it is a little bit more affordable. And this is 40 quid and Beauty Bay one is 20 pounds. 12 pounds, not 20 quid. Um, but that's the first thing I do. Next, I grab the brow pen side. So this is in the shade. do not actually say on here, but it's like the lightest one. Um, and I just use this one. Let's fill in the brows. I'm gonna do this quick. You don't really need a tutorial. Literally just flick strokes, add a few hairs. So I literally do that just to fill in the areas which literally have no hairs. So obviously I don't need to do that front because I've got enough hair there. Okay, now I've done that, I go back to the powder because obviously they look slightly two different colours, which is kind of good, but kind of not my vibe. So I get the tiniest amount of powder and I just go over it again, like I did in the beginning, just to kind of really make them match. And that is what I do. And now I literally look like I have eyebrows, which is crazy because you know when you stick them to your forehead it like they disappear sometimes um and i'm just gonna grab the pencil end and just add a few hair strokes at the front just to make them a little bit more prominent because sometimes especially when your hair is blonde the eyebrow hairs that are right at the front can literally disappear and we don't want that so we're gonna make sure we don't get it now just add in some hair strokes on this side and this brow pencil is literally just the perfect color that it just blends right in so there's the brows. I'm only ever gonna do them once, like once a month when I do my videos, because you probably don't wanna see it over and over again, because it can be a very boring process. But let's get into doing the eyeballs. So you guys know my Ride Old Eye product for literally years now for my eyelids and covering up my brows is the XX Revolution Concealer. You guys know the drill. Um, I've gone through way too many pots of these, genuinely. It's not even a joke. Just gonna carve out my brows and cover this over my lids. You've seen me do it a hundred times. You don't need to me talking you through it. One brow carved, look at that bad boy. Now to make them even, which they definitely won't be. Let's be honest with ourselves. I think they're even enough. Now just grabbing literally the smallest amount of product on each eyelid, you don't need too much. You put too much, that's when things start to crease and you don't want that. Apply that, grab your brush, always give your brush a squeeze before you put it down. Just gets rid of all that excess product whilst it's wet and it doesn't set into the brush. Makes it easier for you to clean and it takes 0.5 seconds. Then I grab like a big dense eyeshadow brush but I use this just to buff out my eyelids. And I'm literally just gonna 
tap that in and really make sure it's in every part of my eyeball this is in the shade 4.5 by the way so i used to use cx3 but since being a bit more tanned i need a darker shade to be honest i probably need a darker shade than this but i put eyeshadow on and this blends out so it's a-okay for me but if you are looking for a trusty product that's going to help your eyeshadow stick because this isn't a normal concealer to be honest it has like that slight tack to it, it holds onto the products so well it's full coverage I much prefer this over the P. Louise. I think the P. Louise is a little bit thin and it doesn't hold onto my eyelids very well. Uh, my eyelids are very oily, um, so it doesn't work well for me at all. Um, but for clients, it works well for them. Just not me. There we go. Now, eyeshadow, let's get into the fun part. We have rambled for too long. I'm actually gonna use my favorite ever time palette. Um, it is stunning. And this is the If The Crown Fits by P. Louise. Their eyeshadows, top notch quality. Absolutely freaking love these. And it's 24 pound on TikTok shop at the moment, which is still big, because when I pay for this, it was like 60 grand. So yeah, do you understand my dilemma here? 60 blend, you good. Okay, and you guys are able to get it for 24 rounds, so just hunt on my TikTok shop and you'll find so many good bits. But I'm actually going to use this bottom drawer. Um, this is my favourite part because it's a bit more my toned. But if I want to do more yellowy and like deeper colours, then obviously I've got the top drawer too. But I like how this can come fully out so I can literally use both at the same time. This is just going to be a quick eye tutorial. This is what I do for when I go out. Just something simple because most of the time I don't have a lot of time. Most of the time I'm in a rush. Uh, I'm running around like a headless chicken. And you don't want to see that. You don't really want to see a headless chicken Becca. Trust me, not attractive. First, you need a fluffy pen uh, eyebrow. Yeah, this is an eyebrow pencil. It's not. Eyeshadow brush. And you want to go into the shade Bluebird, which is my favourite, like, deep tone for me. And then you need your mirror, Becca. Um, and I'm literally just going to throw this on the outer portion of my eye. Circular motions, blend that in. And these shadows, like, they blend for themselves, like, so good. Like, I could just leave that as that and no one would know any difference. I would, but you know. I'm just building up that pigment so then I don't just throw a load of pigment straight away on my eye because that's when it becomes way too much and I don't like it. <laughs> Especially for going out, I don't want to scare people. And there we go. So next, I will do the other eye off camera just because it's quicker and you guys don't want to see me rambling. Next shade, I'm just going to go into Poison Apple, which is a beautiful transition set shade. This is definitely my most used ever palette. Um, use it all the time. Like this will be my wedding palette at this point. That's if I ever find a man that's ever gonna wanna marry me. <laughs> Cause at this point, I got some bad luck. I did dip my toe into the dating world. Um, mm, my anxiety said no. Like I try and then these boys are literally just boys and it stresses me out. Cause mentally I'm a lot older than I am physically. And it just stresses me out that so many young lads are just wanting girls for their body at the moment and it's not the one and learning your worth is one thing that i've really learned in the past few years uh, especially with my ex at one point it was just like i'm worth so much more than this shit so darling if you are being done over over and over again leave that man or woman leave it i uh, honestly they don't need to show you three times that they ain't the right person and that's what i believe i've now been single like seven months i haven't even kissed another guy i'm at that point where i'm like i don't want to randomly like everyone goes oh you go for a hoe face and i'm like you yeah, know <laughs> i'd rather not um being a hoe is not my top priority right now i've got too much life things to be going on um but yeah that's a typical like phrase that so many people use and it's just like go away um and then the last shade i'm gonna go into is the shade baroness it's literally perfect but these are the three shades that i use like i tell you now i'm gonna hit pan on those way too soon there is fluff on my forehead and i'm just gonna throw that over the edge and get powder off your eyebrows because you haven't made them look that good just for eyeshadow all over them you just want something neutral something cute uh, i'm gonna go back into that blue bird shade just to add a little bit more of it faded a bit because just because i've added so many light shades it's blended out basically and then next thing i'm gonna use a glitter primer my favorite one is the rude cosmetics always will be at this point it's so bloody good if you don't have it you need it you get it so good then you need to pick a brush with me that's a difficult product yeah it's a project for me just gonna pick that up on this brush and just tap it in the area that I want which is usually right in the inner corner right from within and then as you can tell by this palette the shade that I use the most is definitely this uh, shade here this is the shade heritage no hereditary and I literally just throw that on it's a nice like pinky shimmer and it just goes well with everything so nicely and this like glitter glue I use it for all shimmers now because 
Usually I put my shimmer on, looks beautiful. Two hours later, it's fallen off. This glitter glue doesn't allow that. And these shimmers are just phenomenal. And I'm just gonna use my finger with the excess just to blend that out. And then I usually wipe the rest of it on the clothes I'm wearing, which is why I never get dressed before I do my makeup, because I will look like nuts. I'm like, where do I wipe everything? And there's me just like, please don't wipe it on your dress. Don't do it. That is literally the simplistic eye. It's simple as, and then I literally whack on an eyeliner. When I say whack on, I bloody well mean it as well. So I'm actually going to use black today. I've either used black or brown, one of them, actually. Most of the time I use brown, uh, but mine actually broke. So I brought another one, but I forgot I brought another one. And there we go, a cute little half wing. I do half wings so quickly at this point. It's kind of nuts. But I'm gonna quickly go off camera, do the other eye, pop on some mascara, some lashes. My favorite mascara at the moment is the telescopic mascara, the Maybelline L'Oreal one. My dog's grabbed something you definitely shouldn't have. But this one is phenomenal, it makes your lashes look so good. But I do actually need to get a new one because mine's starting to dry up. So if you need a new mascara, this one is perfect. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute looking a whole lot better than this, hopefully. Okay, so I just finished doing this. I will be back in a minute with mascara and lashes. But look who came to jump up. Look who it is. You say hi to everyone. You haven't made an appearance in a while. Look how big he is. He's fully grown now. Uh, he's eight months old, coming up to nine months old, which is insane. Um, but look at my big boy. Hello, hello. Oi, thank you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Arlo thought he'd come say hi. Um, when Roxy's in here later, I'll show you her. Um, but she's just having a nap. I love you. Can I have a kiss? Thank you. Bye bye puppy. <laughs> Let me go finish that, what I was supposed to be doing anyway. One more intervene uh, before I actually going back to the makeup. Roxy, sit. No, don't get under there. You know you don't fit. She doesn't fit under my desk and yet she still tries. Come here. Come here. Stop being stubborn. So, this is Roxy. <laughs> um, hey, your boy boy. She's a Kano Corso. Um, so, yeah. That's Roxy. She's the new pup. She's technically not mine. Um, she is Taylor's, but um, I'm looking after her for a while. Quite a bit, quite a long while. Until me and Taylor move in together. So yeah. Why is the camera gone lopsided? If the camera shakes, it's because Roxy's decided to go underneath the desk, even though she's not fit, allowed to, fit. like she can't fit. It's not the one. Okay, lashes on. I literally just put a half lash on. So if you've got any half lashes, that's what I put on. So it's a tiny little lash just to put on the end. Uh, these are the ones from My My Lashes. I'm not gonna say all the time where they're from. You guys know which ones I use all the time at this point. Um, so those are the lashes that we're going for. And it just kind of keeps it bright on the inner corner, a little fluff on the outer. And it just what complements my face. So now let's get into the base makeup. So I actually reorganized all my makeup. I used to sit on my desk and it stressed me out. So we put it on, well not all of it, well the stuff that I use, um, over here in my cart. So then I know where stuff is. So I'm gonna pick out the stuff that I wanna use. So I actually do a three step priming routine. This is what's gonna make your makeup last. So these are the three primers that I'm a right to die at the moment, like obsessed. Obsessed is another, uh, obsessed doesn't even explain the relationship between me and these primers, okay? So first is the marshmallow primer. This is now my second bottle of this. Um, it is amazing. So if you haven't tried it already, it's so worth the 15 quid, but you can get it on TikTok shop for 12, which is so good because you get so much product Product. it's ridiculous so i put three pumps on to my skin just because that's what works for me um it's extremely really hydrating so smooth on the skin and just makes my makeup last it keeps my oils on my nose at bay which is really good um because i can struggle with that because that's the only place that i get oily if i just rub that down my neck knowing that i've got tan on my neck we're gonna have to patch that up. i always bloody forget let's just hope that will settle so we just rub that in and it just works an absolute dream like there's a reason why this went viral on tiktok how many years ago literally probably way over a year ago now but it's so good so nyx you did well so that's the first primer that i do it's so good for your skin it literally fills in my pores as well it's so yummy like look at my skin she's looking so good next is the elf poreless pussy so i use this in my t-zone so i'm just gonna put a pump on my finger too much of this is going to ball up on your skin and then all your products aren't going to sit right because you only need the smallest amount so one pump is very much plenty for this and then i just rub this in i put this in my t-zone because that's where i get oily this is going to just protect so the first one 
keeps the oils at bay. This is gonna keep my makeup on top so nicely. I also rub this sticky primer straight into those forehead lines, especially when I don't have my hair up. Uh, my forehead lines sit more, like they relax more, which means I end up with them in my face all the time, and that is not fun. Sticky primer over those spots that really need to be covered. So those are my first two primers. This is gonna keep my makeup in place in the areas that I get a little bit sweaty. Um, and just like problematic areas, areas that you really need that makeup to stick, this is good to do that. Now, the glowy product that I absolutely adore, look how empty mine is. This is a collection filter finish and I have the shade two. Literally matches me perfectly. And this is just a phenomenal product. So I put this everywhere. I haven't put my sticky primer. So most likely just on my cheeks. And I'm just gonna use this brush to blend it in. And it's just an amazing dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. So if you haven't already got this, you definitely need it because it is so good. And it just gives me everything that I always want. I like to put it on my cheeky areas. Now everything's starting to come together and match. And I don't look like 50 shades of tan. <laughs> And then I'm just going to use that to blend that into my neck. Do you see how it's starting to come together? Yeah. So that is how I prime my face. This is how it's literally staying on my face. I wear this makeup a lot of the time, like 16 to 19 hours. It's not even a joke. Um, I've really got my routine to a really good point where it's like, it looks so good. Now into foundation is a foundation that has literally like taken over the game like when i tried this out the other day my god did this look beautiful and this is the l'oreal age age perfect bb cover it's a hydrating serum foundation and it has spf 50 in it and this oh my lord serum foundation you're thinking not a lot of coverage you don't need a lot of this product god help you if you put a lot on like i did the first time i put this on you literally need two pumps one pump two pump and i wear the shade 06 honey um this matches my body basically perfectly and oh my lord so if you're in the shops just look for this product it's 11.99 and it's literally taken over my foundation game like i really didn't put enough on this side <laughs> one sec i put like half not even half a bump on this side there we go that's the proper amount and then just grab a brush and you want to blend this in to your skin and it just looks so good and do you see that match so yummy and it's a serum foundation which bugs me because no serum foundation on my end uh ever gives me this much coverage i have just also forgotten to spot conceal that huge spot that's on my cheek or uh, chin so i do need to quickly do that this is serum foundation it's not exactly gonna settle down or anything so i'm just gonna grab a little bit of the collection last imperfection pop like conceal and this is really good really good so i just pop that on and then i'm just going to blend that out with my finger i think with pop conceals the uh, finger works best because it's not going to absorb the product and it's just going to keep everything in place that spot is really really playing games with me today and now just blending out the other side going over that spot I usually don't use this brush but it seems to have absorbed a lot of the product which is not good I usually doesn't do that with my full coverage foundations can the hairs that are on my desk stop sticking to my face like i'm getting a little bit peeved now and then whatever excess product is on my brush which usually is a lot more than this i use on my forehead because it's a serum foundation i don't see this settling into my fine lines on my forehead near as much as any other foundation and one trick if you've got those lines on your forehead put a lot less product up there because soon as you start layering really thick products down especially if you're like me who really likes to layer their products it's not gonna sit great once you set it because there's too much product and you're gonna see those lines extremely quickly so this is my favorite foundation at the moment like it's got more coverage than the l'oreal so if you've tested out the l'oreal you'll see what i mean by that so it's got more coverage and it's literally so good like it's not a tinted serum it's a serum foundation so of course it's going to have more coverage but it just it takes over it really does take over the game and really blend that in and it just allows all my freckles to come through it gives me a glow it matches me and i just love it like, I am more than obsessed with this. There we go. Next is my favorite concealer duo that I have. And these two together, chef's kiss, okay? So, the first is the Juvia's Place concealer in the shade 18. It's a really good shade for me when I'm tanned. So, I'm just gonna pop that on. 
And just because I like a little bit of brightness in my inner corner, I'm gonna add another shade of a different concealer. And the combination of the both is stunning. And then a small bit, like a very small bit, like that's not a lot of product, on my forehead. And this is a full coverage concealer. This concealer does not dry down. And ever since I've tried this, God, have I literally been obsessed. I took this on holiday with me and it was the only concealer I was using. That is how obsessed with this I am. Like, Juvia's Place, yes please. I've only just recently tested them out and so good. Next is the Viral Concealer, which is the H&B Concealer. And this is the lightest, lightest concealer shade, which is 005, no, 0505, yeah. And I just popped this in the inner corner just to give me a little bit of brightness. And what I'm going to do is literally just grab the brush that we had earlier, this brush, and I'm just gonna tap that product in so thin it out a little bit, tap it in without blending it out completely. Just tap a little bit, yeah. Do it on the same on the other side of your under eye. And now it's thinned out a little bit, it's gonna set down really nicely. And then I literally leave this for like two minutes whilst I'm usually like baffling about doing something. Um, so I'm literally just gonna leave this two minutes to marinate on my face and you will see how beautiful this is gonna look. Do you know what I can do in these two minutes? Wet a beauty blender, because did I forget again? Absolutely. freaking lately. I'll be back. Okay, now with a freshly wet beauty blender, let's blend this out. So first starting off with the facial areas. This spot does not want to be covered. You are going to cover today, whether it's today or tomorrow, it's covering. Next, the nose. I like to add coverage with concealer, not foundation on my nose, because I find if you put too much foundation on my nose, um, it starts to look really cakey really quickly, but with concealer, it's completely different. Then the tad bit of concealer that's on the forehead, just really blend that out. So it's a really nice thin layer. And pick up any excess product whilst you're up there. So next is the under eyes. So as you can tell, I've allowed them to set, which means they're starting to really sink into the skin. So let's blend that and you will see how bloody good this combination of concealer is. So if you don't have either one of these concealers, grab it because phenomenal behavior, absolutely phenomenal. Love the white long hair across my face. And I'm just gonna blend that to my nose. And do you see how bright that inner corner is? So good. And this is the Cash Beauty sponge, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. I have used it way over a hundred times. Probably need a new one, but don't fix what ain't broke. That's all I have to say. Then any excess concealer goes over the nose, over that mahoosh spot, and really just blend that together and through the eyebrows because I didn't foundation there. But that concealer combo is my all-time favourite. Like it looks so good really just make sure you've blended everything out the last thing we need is a non-blended face and there we go we are blended now on to my all-time favorite cream bronzer so my all-time favorite cream bronzer at the moment has to be this one but i don't know if it matches me at the moment so i might need to get a darker shade and that is the pink honey bff face frosting like this is so freaking good but I do feel like this is a bit too light at the moment. So me using it is gonna be like pointless because you're not gonna see it. Honestly, these videos would be so much quicker to film and edit if there was no hairs in my face. Like I can feel you on my face, go away. So this is my all time favorite. And when I'm pale, this Milky Mocha shade is phenomenal. Like absolutely stunning, but it is too light for me right now. So I do recommend this one, it is my favorite. Um, so if you are able to, they've just had a restock, so go onto my TikTok shop, you'll see it, grab it. Um, I need to grab a darker shade, that's what I need to do. Um, but for today, I'm actually going to use my Kronza, because close behind the pink honey has to be the Be Perfect Kronza. It has to be, and it is so freaking good. I am obsessed with this, and this is slightly darker, so it's going to match. Um, let's hope, because I used this when I was on holiday by itself all bloody time all the time uh, I didn't stop using it so yeah the be perfect Kronza if you don't have it I don't see a lot of people talking about it and to be honest I think that's a sin because it is so good so I've just picked up the smallest little amount and I'm just gonna sculpt that into the face you don't want anything too dark so you go too dark especially with the Kronza you're gonna look a little crazy you're gonna look a lot more than a little crazy I tell you that one for free but look at that like sharp cheek it's giving. Like it's so stunning and it's so easy to build up. You do only need a small amount of product for the pigmentation though. Cause when I was pale and I used this shade, oh my lord, did I have to be quickly careful with this? Yes. And then you pick up a tiny bit, literally the smallest amount. Remember on the forehead, we want minimal 
product and then you just blend that in like that like oh my lord jesus this stuff is so good and all the time they've got it on sale for like seven quid which is so good but yeah that is the be perfect concert like oh looks so good i would go something with a tad bit darker for me right now but it's working so don't fix what i'm broke oh one more thing i need to do my nose contour let me do my nose contour off lime no actually let's show you how i do my nose contour because i just watched my recent video that i edited and i do my nose contour very different this now very different so i have a specific brush i use for my nose contour it's a fluffy packer brush but it's one of those flatter ones i use that and this color for my nose oh, stunning so i literally just tap across my nose bone i can feel it and that is what i go across then you want to tap that down and then tap out blend out really nicely really quickly and the same on this side i'm really hoping that you can see what i'm doing otherwise it's a bit pointless make sure you haven't gone over your concealer you know and then the last place I do it is literally just on the end of my nose. And that is how I contour my nose. And with that, literally look how skinny my nose looks. Insane. But yeah, that is my favourite cream bronzer at the moment. Uh, other than my pink honey. Now, cream blush. See, there's a fight here. Okay, there is a fight. And it's between two products. Okay, I might have to use both today. I might, because it's that stunning. But one is a general liquid cream blush and that is the Rare Beauty. These are stunning. There's a reason why I have two shades of an expensive blush. That usually doesn't happen unless I really like a product. I don't usually like to buy an expensive product twice. Um, it's not the one. So I have the shade Happy and the shade Joy. Happy is so stunning, but mixed with the shade Joy, these two together, chef's bloody kiss. But a new recent favourite of mine has to be the Beauty Crop with Amelia Olivia um, Glow Milk Blushed in the shade Pink Pineapple. The glow this blush gives you is insane. And because you guys have seen me use this one way too often, um, I am going to go in with this one today because I need to show you what the hell this looks like on the skin. Always give it a good shake because it does have the shimmer particles in, obviously, so it's going to separate. Get those bingo wings working, women. <laughs> there we go. And you only need one pump. That is it. And in fact, one pump is still a lot of it because it's a lot of pigment. There are so many hairs everywhere. It's disgusting. Oh, my Lord. And then I like to mix it a bit because obviously mixing the pigments together and just look at that colour just is phenomenal like you literally need the smallest amount of this because it is high pigment high glow like oh this is 15 pounds as well and you can actually get the like set that she dropped which has the glow milk the glow blush two beauty blenders and the spray for 31 quid which is insane when this by itself is 15 pound so you're getting the rest for just 15 quid well 16 pound it's just so stunning like amelia you did so so well i'm not actually ever gonna watch this but it just i can't i love it and it doesn't break apart your foundation at all especially because i've got serum foundation on like you think it would nah it don't so let's blend out this side the glow that this provides is unmatched to anything else like this is so good all right look how pink my cheeks are and look how glowy it is like this is just it's phenomenal so if you don't already have it you need it like just look at those cheeks oh so yummy okay now i'm just gonna blend out those under eyes and i'm gonna go in with my favorite brightening powder you guys have seen this brightening powder many of times um a while ago actually quite a while ago but it's still my fave she's still kicking and i still love it which is crazy because it's expensive for what it is it is expensive for how much product you get it's insane but whilst i give you creepy eyes i'm gonna grab my dragon beauty translucent pink powder and this just brightens my under eyes like no other I'm being genuinely serious like i just don't use anything else but this anymore for my under eyes especially now i'm tan like a lot of concealers can look a certain funny way on me and i'm just like mm, what can fix this this powder that's what i have to say and then you just tap it under the eyes. I love how I didn't care about going over my cheek. And it's done now. I'll just go on top of it later. I've got to powder it down now. <laughs> but yeah, this powder is £25 for 10 grams. But to be honest, the 10 grams has really been lasting a long time for me. Like, a really long time. Okay, so that is how I brighten my under eyes. <laughs> okay, next is the... Where is it? Coat Yes Spun Powder. This is brilliant. It is. It's genuinely so good. And I set my entire face with this. My entire face, okay? Um, it, it just works so well. So, yeah, why not use it? So I actually use quite a small powder brush so I can really take time to 
push it into the products um because i want to do a powder puff because it's too much like pressure um i will end it up with too much product in some areas because some areas don't need as much powder than others so you know powder puff isn't gonna work but a small little brush like this so good so i'm actually gonna set down the amelia olivia um but look you can really set it down but once i spray this i know the glow is gonna come back which is gonna be so cute just because i completely forgot that i needed to avoid my cheek when i was setting my under eyes my forehead you really really want to push that powder into those forehead lines because i'm not allowing them to move i don't want to look silly usually i just pull up my forehead and really just get all up in there you know make yourself look like mega mind for five minutes and then a light little tap over the nose and whilst you're doing that you want to blend out the brightening powder and there we go and if you think we're done with powder we're not um, but I will dry myself in setting spray in a minute, so don't you worry, I'm not going to look like a powdery mess. You will see at the end, I look like a glowy goddess. Yeah, but also I need my face to stay in place. So this is what I do. Next, keeping the same brush. And I'm going in with the e.l.f. powder foundation, and this is in the shade Fair 150C. And it is such a beautiful shade for just keeping the under eye nice and bright. I'm actually going to change brush because that one is too big um just gonna use this cash beauty one and what i do is pick up a little bit of the product this is highly pigmented so you really don't need a lot and i'm just gonna tuck that right underneath the eye and it's also gonna keep those under eyes nice and set and it's such a finely milled product that it does not feel heavy on the skin at all like look at that brightening power um i'm just gonna do it the other eye and also using a powder foundation somewhat on my nose as well really keeps my oils at bay which is so good but look at that brightening effect i love it this is a really good product by the way especially when you want to cover something such as one second trick powder puff a little bit of the elf spot be gone okay now for setting spray a setting spray that really holds in my makeup has to be the revolution super fix super hold misting spray mine is bashed and crooked because i took it on holiday with me and obviously the carriers can't obviously hold anything nicely so yeah it's great so now i'm gonna dry my face in a setting spray and just try and avoid the eyebrows but most of the time it doesn't work there we go now i'm gonna sit here and let this dry okay now my face is dry we need to bronze because for some odd reason for some odd reason whenever i set my face my foundation goes a different color uh, it's the powder i know but i can't seem to find any powders that are keeping me the same color as my body i just end up looking crazy by the end so i'm just like just pile on a load of bronzer and you should look fine you'd think it was easier than that so for bronzer i am going to be using the juvia's place bronzer so um, I actually brought this in the shade light, um, but as you can tell right now, these are too light for me now, um, but it's a really good bronzer and if you haven't got this already, it is absolutely stunning. But my mate Taylor has her one and she's left it here and she said it's fine for me to use. Just because this is her favourites video, I'm going to use this one, but if it was another video, um, I'll use like a different video uh, powder. But this bronzer has a bloody choke hold on me and this is the shade that i use it looks intimidating in the pan but it's really not on the skin like it just looks so good and oh i love it really hoping that my face is set and i'm not just swelling around unset face because that would be disastrous i wouldn't quite like that one and this bronzer oh so good so i'm actually gonna tan my jaw just so then not tan it but like bronzer it i never really do this i do i do my chin fine um just to make it look shorter but the reason why i'm doing this is because obviously my neck is now a different color to my face so i just do that and you really got to buff it in otherwise you're gonna look crazy so then when you give the double chin chest it looks somewhat the same but this bronzer is so smooth and it's a matte bronzer so it has no sheen to it also i've quite realized that i actually don't like sheeny bronzers like sheeny blush sheeny highlight yeah bronzer uh, it's not really sheeny on your skin when you do it so when you do have a tan so why is it sheeny when you put makeup products on so yeah i'm literally just pulling back here so that i can really work it in try and give myself a facelift i reckon if i hold it up like this for long enough it'll stay that way but you see how like intimidating it looks in the pan and then i put it on and it's just not that intimidating like it is stunning i also like to put it on my nose but also before i concentrate any area i will just kind of throw it all over my nose not usually the best tip 
but it works just to kind of give my nose because usually your nose actually tans first when it comes to your face so i just like to give that illusion but this bronzer just it is stunning and i haven't put it down since i think it is genuinely just that good I need to throw a bit in my eye shadow next i'm gonna use the bronzer on my nose i'm just using a brush like this uh pick up a bit of the bronzer tap off the excess because you definitely don't need that much and i'm literally just gonna go over the lines that i did for the bronzer so the cream contour bronze i'm just gonna go over them really make sure you've got that snatch nose over the bottom and then i'm going to tap into the darker shade the tiniest bit and just go over this bit here because then it pinches it because you've used the other shade down it a bit more so i find that sometimes you really need a tad bit of a darker shade especially because when i was younger uh broke my nose so it kind of wonky and i you can quickly see that if i don't do this and then a little bit of that darker one on the tip it's the only time really i use the darker one it's just a really give that illusion of a much smaller nose than I have and then just a little bit under the lip give that tanned illusion we love so now we are bronze we now need to blush and for my favorite blush genuinely has to be this one this is the let's get wavy blush from doll beauty and it is just stunning um you need the smallest amount of this you don't need a lot so if you really think you need a lot uh, you're wrong trust me this stuff is pigmented you don't need to swirl your brush around like it gets scary after a while like i've used this a hundred times and it still hasn't taken the design off so i'm literally just tapping on it a few times tap that excess off that is literally all you need because when it comes to your cheek it's just oh phenomenal just like that and this on top of my amelia olivia stunning usually i do the amelia olivia second just to go over my base product um but today i kind of forgot to not set it but it looks phenomenal set so i don't really mind just put a tiny bit of blush on the nose make it look healthy make it look cute and there we have our like, bronzed and blush cheeks it's like i forgot to turn this part of my forehead don't ask next is a lovely little trick um that i kind of learned from me olivia it's kind of adapted but i am going to be mixing two different things and one of them is the rare beauty illuminator in the shade enlighten this is stunning absolutely stunning and you only need one pump of that okay because it's highly pigmented and to give me that creamy glowy look i use my primer which is the collection filter finish and i use like one and a half of this and this does not break down your makeup at all like the mixture of this like watch look at that phenomenal i believe in miracles you sick thing you don't know now using the bottom of my beauty blender again i'm literally gonna bop it in so tap 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 now when it comes to your face you want to pinch it you got nails it's a little bit harder to pinch it and then i'm just gonna apply that onto the high points of my cheeks and onto my like fronts of my cheeks um always go in with a little bit first and then go in with more afterwards because you can't take away but you can add something i've learned because going in with way too much at the beginning is the scariest thing live and this just adds the most beautiful glow just adding that onto your cheeks, chin. This is where I get the glow from and genuinely it works so well because in the end of the day, I need my face to be set, but I also kind of want it to be glowy. And this is the trick that I do. Now look at those cheeks. That is a tip and trick you need to learn. If you haven't tried it, you need to. And I know the Rare Beauty Illuminizer is a bit expensive, it's 25 pound, but the size of the product is insane. It actually is because look at the size difference between their blushes and their illuminizer like you get like double the product oh you do the blush has 77.5 mils and the illuminizer have 15 mils you get double the product and you're paying basically the same price which is insane to me and it's like discombobulated in my brain that's what i have to say it's discombobulated um but i'm loving my makeup so far so now we need to highlight my nose i can't put creams onto my nose after it's been set it will not stay so my favorite one is the ofra rodeo drive i have this had this for way too long and i've hit pan on it a long time ago it's so good this is the mini and i'm still kicking with it you don't need the full size products you really don't it's too much product you're never going to get through it i've learned that as well i'm like if i can buy a mini i will i will because at this point i'm throwing away products before I've even used a quarter of it. So I'm just gonna pop that in my inner corner as well. And also if you've got some glow where you don't want it, just grab your powder brush with your excess product and just tap down 
because I actually brought the glow onto my upper lip just then. Got a little bit too happy handed with that. A little bit too. Okay, next is the bottom of the lash line. I'm literally just gonna throw a few shades underneath it. I use a very small brush like this and I basically go in with this poison apple shade and I throw that underneath my eyes. I think if I go too dark under my eyes, my eyes don't look bright anymore and it's just too much. So I literally just want something that's gonna add a little bit of color, but not too much. Okay, and then using a little bit of that poison apple shade just to pull out the eyeshadow a little bit. That's what you do. Then I literally just grab any old mascara, any mascara. One thing that a lot of people question me for, I actually trim my bottom lashes um, because they get so long and they start to touch my face that whenever I put any mascara, it rubs underneath my eyes. So if you get that, most likely that your lashes have got way too long. Um, so I trim them because they grow back so quickly, but don't trim them too short, you'll look crazy. I trim them so they don't touch my skin but also they're long enough that they look like spiders because I am that person that has eyelashes grow so quickly. I once ripped my eyelashes out with an eyelash curler. Yeah, that was fun. Don't do that, but yeah, uh, it was eventful, I should say the least. Next is lip liner and like lipstick and stuff. So we've got an issue. I have lost my ABH lip liner. That's a big issue because I've only got three lip liners here and not one of them is my ABH. I'm having a little bit of a mini panic attack because these lip liners are £17 each. And I can't seem to find mine. <sighs> I didn't want that to happen today, but you know, good on me. And this is the worst part. My other ones are pretty much died because achievements is dead. So after my ABH is my, this one, which is the P. Louise lip liner. P. Louise have really good lip liners. They're absolutely stunning. But I'm really upset that I can't find my ABH one because if I can't find it now, then it definitely wasn't here when I last did my glam. Because I remember my last glam I did, I did a pink lip, so I didn't even look for it. So that's always fun. Cute. What do you do? Lip line, this is in the shade Such a Flat. Okay, lip liner on. This is literally such a buttery formula and it stays in place once it's down. It's so good and it's really nice shade. Like this is the shade that I look for in most lip liners. It's beautiful. Next is two lipsticks. So they're from the same brand, so don't worry. It's the Doll Beauty lipsticks and I wear them like this. So you will see how I do this. First is, wow, the aeroplane did that one of questionable look first is the shade my love and i use this as a base color as it's like a pinky color then i just blend that in and to add a little bit more nude to it and just a brighter inner center this is fomo and i'm just gonna pop that in the center so we then we've got somewhat of a cute little ombre lip absolutely love it like this is one of my all-time favorite lip liner like lip look to do i do wish i had my um and then my favorite lip gloss has to be the maybelline lift gloss in 002 but you guys have watched me use that way too many times so i'm going to use my Too Faced lip injection because it's actually really good and i don't mind the feel of it so i'm gonna go burn myself for no goddamn reason and this is the clear one, which is not no longer going to be clear in a minute. And there we go. We have a cute little peachy nude lip. That will start singing in about five minutes. And then finally is the last step. And it has to be a glowy setting spray. So all that powder we use, at the moment it doesn't even look powdery. Just in case it did, we use this. And this is the Fix and Glow. So this is a fixing setting spray. So it's going to fix glue your makeup together and let it just like melt like it's gonna it's just phenomenal like there's a reason why this has only got such a small bit left and this is from revolution i'm obsessed with it and i need another one it's one of their set sprays like that one and that the one i used before are literally like the only two that i use like revolution really hit it with these two set sprays and i really like the mister it's like a circle when it puffs at you it's like a circle lands on your face where a lot of other misters aren't like that really got to get every place and make sure this dries okay and i am done with my go-to makeup like look how flawless this looks like, these products just work well so good and if you've seen a load of products in here that you are interested in genuinely every single one makes my face look like this like 
it's so freaking good now i just need like barrel curls in my hair would look great um i also need a hairbrush do you know what i'll just use this one for now not even a proper hairbrush for me i'm just, just gonna try and smooth out my flyaways and just hope for the best stick down and you see how my fine lines on my forehead haven't settled in and if they've got the tiniest line there it's because they naturally sit there anyway um but yeah this is the cute little glam i absolutely obsessed with this like how could you not be let's give it a quick and there we go like the glowy skin you wouldn't think i had this much of glowy skin near the end from when you were watching me powder the heck out of my face and i tell you now my face looks like this for the next 17 hours. 17 hours I can wear this makeup in and I just feel so confident in this makeup look, especially with the body stuff, like just me being even. It's just one cute little thing and I am absolutely obsessed. So if you found some Ride or Die products in here that you really wanna try out, please do. The link to my TikTok will be down below. But Becca is back. I'm gonna do some more videos. Uh, comment to me down below what you want to see i've obviously got some videos that i did film a while ago when i say a while ago it was probably nearly a year ago that i'm going to be editing and uploading but i will be throwing in some new ones as well so then you guys are really highly entertained so yeah this is the glam i absolutely love it and the deals that you can get on tiktok shops absolutely amazing and yeah if you want to do this type of makeup you can even do it with your own makeup and just follow along to see how i sculpt my face or how i do my eyeshadow so yeah if you guys do this look tag me on instagram you know what to do um becca.scully over there it's basically by the becca.scully anywhere you find me um except for my fashion account it's becca.fashion.by.com Becca. Yeah, that's my fashion makeup. But yeah, this is the final little makeup look. I hope you're obsessed as much as I am. And yeah, let's give you a final little zoom in so you can see all my texture and look how smooth I look and glowy. And it's just so youthful. They're like, I just feel so good. Can we just elaborate how much my lips are like tingling right now? Sin. But yeah, this is the cute little look. And a lot of these products were low end. So you don't have to spend a lot of coin to be getting the flawless base. Like, it is insane. I love this. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.